Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can install Shoutcast on a Linux VPS. You can probably do this on um, CentOS as well. And I'm going to be using Putty. I'm already logged into my VPS. Now what you do basically is you go to shoutcast.com, you, you go up to the top where it says broadcast tools up here in the navigation. You click that and then you scroll down here to get to your disk show. Now you can use a Shoutcast DNS 2.0, I really don't care which one you use. I use the current stable version which is 1.9.8. You right click on the download button and you click on copy link address. Now basically I'm going to create a directory on my VPS for YouTube specifically. And the way to do that, now you don't have to do this if you're, on, if you're not going to give Shoutcast to anybody you don't have to do this. If you are going to, then this is how you do it. You type in mkdir, which means make directory, and I'm just going to name mine YT for YouTube, and then I'm going to lo I'm going to locate to that by typing cd yt. Now I'm in the YouTube directory. Now to get the uh, the package, the shoutcast thing, you type wget and then if you're using putty you right click to paste that URL Now this will take a, a second and you'll see it download the package now what we want to do is we want to extract this tar file so we type in tar then the hyphen well negative whatever you want to call it and then you type in zxvf I believe and then you type in this name right here so sc underscore serve underscore 1.9.8 underscore linux.tar.gz and what that'll do is it'll extract it into the directory next what we want to do is we want to edit the config file so type in nano sc underscore serve dot conf now there's very few things you have to do in here if you really want to get advanced uh, go ahead and scroll through the whole entire config file and edit whatever you want. Alright, so for the max users, you can set that to whatever you want. It could be one user, to a hundred users, to a thousand users, to a million users. It doesn't matter. I always set mine to 1000, but when I have, when I give it to somebody who needs shoutcast, I would set it at a hundred. Now the password is the uh, shoutcast password. I'm going to leave mine as change me for now. The port base, you can use 8000 if it's your first sh first stream, but if it's any other stream, uh, do 8000 between 8000 and 9000. I'm going to make mine 8555, just so it's easier for me to remember in this video. Now, when you start the actual stream, it will listen for the next port to make sure that that port isn't used. And if either port is used, you'll get an error. So just scroll down here. You can set um, to show the last song. You can set it 1 to 20. I'm pretty sure a lot of you know this kind of shellcast stuff. And if you don't, well, now you do. Now, the source IP is going to be your dedicated IP on your VPS and I'm gonna pause the video to put mine alright so after that you want to scroll down just keep scrolling down you want to look under the server configuration you want to change the admin password the admin password is basically on your shoutcast page you will see a link that says admin the username will always be admin unless you go and buy shoutcast somewhere else usually the username on those servers because they have cPanel would be sc underscore and then whatever name they give you but on your own VPS when you install this shoutcast the username is always admin I don't I'm not sure if you can change it I don't think you can but for the admin password I'm gonna put as change me just for this video and that's basically it that's all you really have to edit uh, you can scroll through like I said and edit whatever the heck you want but if you screw up that's your own fault. Now you do control X to save and type Y for yes and you hit enter. Now what we want to do is we want to start this stream. Now to start this stream, no matter what directory it's in, 
you type in dot slash sc underscore serve then sc underscore serve dot com now like I said it is going to listen for the next port to make sure that your port isn't being used now I'm going to, going to go up here and I'm going to type in 8555 after the colon your URL is going to be your IP, um, dedicated IP colon and then the port and alright it says that it's down because nobody's broadcasting but I just I pause the video and open up my SAMs and now it should be broadcasting this is what you'll see you'll see this on any other shoutcast stream now here's the admin login this is what I'm talking about the username will always be admin the password will be the admin password that you specify in my case it's change me now here's where you can view anybody that's listening right here and uh, you'll see if you leave this open while it's running you can, you don't have to, but when someone listens, their IP will show here, their IP will show here in the listener list. You can um, kick them, ban them, you can kick the source, which is the person who is broadcasting, and that will shut the server down until someone else picks it up. So basically that's it. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, either PM me or leave them down in the comment box, and I'll see you next time.